Hi everyone, welcome to our channel where we explore the exciting world of programming and technologies. And this is part 4 of Django middleware series where we are going to cover the class based middleware and we are going to learn its syntax and how to get started with it. And make sure to watch this video entirely because it is very important topic into Django. So let's get started. We'll start over from where we left. So we uh, we are into middleware.py and what we are going to do is we are going to start by creating a class and we'll call it as uh, set request data. Okay. This is a class, right? In Django middleware, there are two important methods which should be present in every class based middleware. So we are going to take a look at it now in it and it will take in self and get response. Okay. Just like function based middleware, it is also going to take in uh, get response and over here we are going to set uh, get response so self dot get response will be equal to this uh, get response okay so our uh, function sorry class based variable is set and this init method is done now you can do logics inside this also but then we don't really want to write up uh, logics inside init method right then we'll go to second method and it is called as get so dunder init get we don't really want all these, uh, my bad. So we are going to take in self and request just like function based views. This is also going to take in the request and self is of course the class one. So let me fix this and whatever logic we are going to write, we'll write it in in call. Okay. So first what we'll do is we'll extract the data from the request and then try to print it and execute the function. Okay. Function as in like a uh, view function. So we'll take it as, we'll call it as data, right? And we'll take in request dot post dot get, and we'll take in number from here. And we'll do is print, print whatever is in data. And after this, we are going to continue the request flow. So for that, uh, we'll call it as a response. And in this one, we are going to take in self dot get response. And in this one, we are going to pass in the request, right? See, uh, it is very similar to function based middleware. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure to watch those videos. Uh, and it is very similar to that. And from here, all we are going to do is return this response. Let me save it. Okay. And quickly I'll go over it again. We have created new class called as uh, set request data. In it, we have two methods. One is initialization or dunder init method. Another one is dunder call method. So in uh, in it, uh, we receive self of course and get response. And then we set that to self dot get response. After that, we have class. Uh, sorry, we have call. And in that, we take in self and request. And whatever we want to do, we write it over here. So what I have done is over here, I have taken the number from the post and then I'm printing it and making sure the flow continues of the request response and then return the response. Okay. So I'm going to, instead of like doing this, let's do one thing. We'll put in more print statements so that y'all can understand it easily. I'm going to say print over here and we are going to say set request data initialize. Uh, let me check my spelling. Yes. And for spellings, I use a plugin and that plugin is called as, let me check code spell checker. So y'all can also use that and it will help you in spelling check. Okay. And then after that, what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to also add print statement over here. So I will call it as print and over here we are going to do a little data print also. So what we'll do is, uh, we'll call it as post. So it should be post and data is equal to we'll print the entire request dot post. Okay. Then again, I'm going to take this and we'll call it as start of start of set request data. It is called off. Then after this, we are going to copy paste and we'll call it as end of set request data. So we have added few print statement. First is over here. Uh, in dunder in it, then we have added one over here post data and one is this already present so that we can check uh, what data is coming. Although it will be printed over here, but still I want to verify it. Then what we are going to do is we, uh, we have added another print statement over here called a start of request data. Then finally we have added another print statement, uh, end of request set request data. 
so we are going to run the server and check it out so let me clear this first python manage.py run server um, our server is up and running and okay we have it over here so we have number something called as two before that we have to configure in middleware to run this new middleware instead of the old one right so we'll go to settings.py and i'm going to paste it over here copy paste and we are going to put it over here. so just like that it is so in order to call a class based middlewares in django we do is uh, app name then file name that is middlewares over here and then whatever the class name of that middleware is there so over here it is set request data so that is what is being put over here and it will be called right so now we are going to go to under client we are going to click on send and if you notice we'll go back to middlewares don't worry so first of all if you see uh, this was initialized like in function based middleware over here this is initialized then in call uh, first thing is printed is uh, post data this one and it has number equal to 2 then we extracted the number and we printed it as data so that is printed over here then uh, start of this set request data is printed over here then it went to view function and this is what calls the view function or like it continues with the flow okay so index called and that is what print is printed over here and then finally once that function is executed uh, it comes back to here in the middleware and then end of set request data is called so this is how the flow of middleware works so at start uh, the middleware is initialized then every time request comes in first of all call is called and then uh, whatever logic or whatever you have done in call will be executed after that uh, when we call self dot get response our next middleware is present then that will be called otherwise if a direct view function is present then that will be called uh, and whenever any data is returned from here that response is there and then uh, from here the middleware returns so if there is any any other middleware in the process that will be executed otherwise the response will go to the user so this is how our middleware class based middleware works in django so that's it for this video in the next video we are going to take a look at advanced class based middleware in that we'll be handling exception handling also we'll be taking a look at other available uh, methods in the middleware so make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out our next upcoming videos and thank you for watching this video guys make sure to like this video share and subscribe and see you in the next one